In this video, I want to show you how to make a simple, easy apple cider. You're gonna need a mason jar. I have half gallon. You need cane sugar, another jar to shake the water. Of course, you're gonna need your apples. Um, I've saved apples and as I cut them and use them, I put them inside the fridge in a paper bag, a plastic bag. Also, I will be using a coffee filter and you can see that's a clean scrunchie but scrunchies work great if you go over to dollar tree you can get the large size and they double up they hold well with the towels and i'm also using distilled water as opposed to city water you do not want to use city water well water would be fine so right now i'm just adding in the apple peels you're going to fill it up three-fourths full so fill your mason jar three-fourths full so that way you have enough room for uh, your apples to, um, they'll start to expand and kind of float once the fermentation process starts. So here I'm just adding more in, but making sure that I stop once it's to a level that gives me a good, I would say four inches of space from the very top to where the apples ended. All right. So now we take the water and this is one cup of sugar to one 64 ounce mason jar. So I'm just adding the water into the smaller mason jar with the sugar and shaking it to kind of dissolve everything before I place it within the larger container. And you'll see that I just continue to pour the water in. Um, there's a little bit of sugar left, so I'm gonna pour some more of that water in there. And the reason we're using the distilled water in my case is because I do have city water and I do not want to have any other type of uh, minerals or anything in it um, for this cider. I want it to be as pure as I can possibly get it. I do have a filter, but I'd rather just use distilled water so that I'm assured that there's nothing but water. So now this water is poured over the apples. The sugar is basically dissolved. If you don't use this method where you shake the sugar in a smaller jar prior to putting it into the larger container with the apples, you're just going to need to put a cup of sugar in the mason jar, add your apples, add your water, and then you're going to have to take some form of a wooden utensil or spoon um, and stir in and dissolve that sugar. You can also put the top or the lid over your mason jar and just shake vigorously. Um, either way will work. So I'm putting the uh, coffee filter on top. I'm taking this, uh, I said scrunchy, but it's really like a, a, a stretchy headband. And I get them and use them quite often because they work for a lot of things where you just wanna have a secure tight grip. And that's it. You let this sit for four weeks. For the first two weeks, you're gonna stir daily. And then after two weeks, you're gonna strain out the mixture. The juice can go back into the container. The pulp can be fed to chickens, or you can put it back in and create another uh, milder cider type of apple cider vinegar, or just toss it. And then let it sit again for another additional two weeks. And after four weeks, it's good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video.